Welcome back. For the first time in six years, Jammu and Kashmir is holding an assembly session. But as it turns out, the long wait seems hardly worth it. The sessions have been marred by disruptions, shouting matches and even physical brawls. Today marked the fifth day of the Jammu and Kashmir assembly session. But much like previous days, the proceedings were dominated by chaos rather than constructive debate. The uproar began when Lang Langate MLA Sheikh Khurshid from the AIP held a banner in the House calling for the restoration of Article 370. This sparked a heated confrontation between legislators with some members effectively holding the session hostage. The disruption forced the Speaker to adjourn proceedings for the day and call for marshals to restore order. The Speaker's decision to remove the protesting members only has escalated tensions. What followed was an intense physical struggle as marshals had to forcibly remove several of the unruly MLAs from the House. Surprisingly, while the assembly session quite literally turned into an assault session, Chief Minister Omar Abdullah appeared unfazed, seeming almost indifferent to the mayhem unraveling around him. All right, we let's just very quickly dip into Omar Abdullah, uh, the Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, who is speaking in the Assembly right now. Let's very quickly listen in. Law and order maintain karne ka, militancy, terror, violence ke khilaf, policy, scheme, or ek uh, direction dene ka, wo ikhtiarat elected government ke paas nahi hai. Lekin, हालात एक वैक्यूम में नॉर्मलाइज नहीं किए जा सकते हैं। इलेक्टेड गवर्नमेंट और लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर साहब के एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन का इस मामले में करीबी तालमेल है। किसी को भी इस शक में नहीं रहना चाहिए कि इलेक्टेड गवर्नमेंट और पुलिस के दरमियान किसी तरह की रसाकशी है या किसी तरह का कंफ्यूजन है मैं पुलिस बिल्कुल अपने जम्मू कश्मीर पुलिस बल्कि यहां बाकी जो सेंट्रल फोर्सेस हैं और सिक्योरिटी के बाकी फोर्सेस हैं उनको अशोर करना चाहता हूं कि हालात को नॉर्मल रखने में और यहां अमन कायम करने में हमारी हुकूमत पूरी तरह से उनके साथ खड़ी है well, amid the uproar in the Jammu and Kashmir Assembly over Article 370's abrogation, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has once again reiterated that no power in the world can bring Article 370 back to Kashmir. Launching an attack on the Congress from a public address in Maharashtra, the Prime Minister also claimed that Grand Old Party played a role in trying to divide the valley. जब तक मोदी पर जनता जनार्दन का आशीर्वाद है कांग्रेस वाले तुम कश्मीर में कुछ नहीं कर पाओगे कस्बे में आप केवल और केवल बाबा साहब अंबेडकर का संविधान ही चलेगा ये मोदी का फैसला है दुनिया की कोई ताकत अब कश्मीर में Article 370 ki vapasi nahi kara sakti. And I'm being joined at this point by Dr. Abhijit Jasrotia, who's a Jammu and Kashmir BJP spokesperson, advocate Nilofar Masood, who's an NC leader, as well as advocate Ahmed Ayaz, who's a political analyst. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, let me Thank first you. straight go to Dr. Abhijit Jasrotia. Mr. Abhijit Asrotia, what is the plan? There is an assembly which is going on. Why does BJP have to go and 
uh, hold a mock assembly in Jammu. It's a historic assembly session that's going on. See, there is nothing like that plan. Uh, but I will definitely try to support the nefarious plans of this present dispensation over there. Uh, you can very well understand from where we started this assembly. This assembly was started with an address of our Honorable LG. Where LG uh, gave all what we have achieved in past five, six years. He started talking about 1.17 lakh crores of the uh, GDP which was there. That has not doubled nearly in past three, four years. Then he talked about the deficit which was always given by this uh, JNK bank which was treated to be like a home bank of any other politicians uh, five years back from now. Now it is giving a surplus. It is giving thousands of crores of progress is there, the uh, profit which this uh, JNK bank is. Then he was talking about the college. He was talking about all the development which has taken place. He was talking about the two um, crore of the tourists also over here. That is what we were talking about. But where were these people heading? They were heading towards, again, trying to derail the things and let us, they were trying to take us back to pre-5th August 2019. Now, what we have achieved after, uh, before 5th August 2019, more than 1.5 lakh graves are there. What is there? Dr. Abhijit Jasrothia, you may Republic. have whatever a... political stand you want to have, Dr. Dr. Jasrothia, you may have whatever political stand you want and you have the right to have that political stand. Why can't you have that right Inside the assembly, why can't you speak that in the assembly? Why can't there be a democratic dialogue? I mean, it was a given that this would become an issue. Elections were held on this mudda. They went to people on this issue. So it was a given that this would come up in the assembly. If you want to counter this with a political stand, why not do it in the assembly? Why make a ruckus and have a mock assembly outside? See, when, when you will see that there is a sorry to say when there is a compromise speaker over there and they are trying to basically try to sabotage the things and they are trying to dictate the new terms and they are trying to, you know, uh, really uh, even trying to stand against what was given to us by the Supreme Court. Supreme Court has basically issued all these orders. After that, why are you wasting the times of this assembly? Why are you wasting the hard and money of the people? Why are you wasting the tax pay, paid money of the people? What was the reason of doing all these things? I'll tell you what was the reason. There was a race which was going among all these people. It was first started by PDP. Again, they, they have done nothing from past two, three decades. Then it was followed by, again, National Conference. They have also done nothing from past five, six decades. And then others also started following. So basically what we were trying to do, we were talking, trying to derail the thing. Okay. They were not ready Advocate to accept Nero what Masu, was achieved Let me come past, to you at this point. <clears throat> You heard Dr. Abhijit Jasroti and of course the whole country is seeing what's happening in uh, Jammu and Kashmir Assembly. Advocate Nilofar Masood, my question is very simple. Is this what the people of JNK elected their MLAs and the government for? Look at the scenes inside the Assembly. Isn't there a democratic way to handle this? And we see Mr. Omar Abdullah sitting very unfazed by all of these things. Of course, he's addressing uh, the House at this point, and hopefully we should get to know very soon what he's speaking about. But, I mean, isn't there a more democratic way to deal with this in a temple of democracy, the highest temple of democracy, a landmark session that's happening in Jammu and Kashmir? Well, Neha, I don't know what is the method of dealing with undemocratic people in such a way that uh, they have been creating us in the uh, assembly itself. They need to realize that uh, they have lost the election, uh, holding of mock uh, assembly out within the premises of the legislature. Legislature is very unfortunate. They need to realize that, that there are many important issues which needs to be addressed uh, within the four corners of the assembly. And uh, we, as the Jammu and Kashmir National Conference, they are committed to the people. They have already given roadmap for five years. We have manifested in our manifesto we have already mentioned and we took votes from the people therein uh, we have submitted that uh, whenever the assembly election will be first session of the assembly will be held we will bring the resolution and likely we have brought the resolution as per our manifesto which we have already declared so in order to divert the people of uh, Jammu and Kashmir or the, uh, who have given massive uh, this uh, mandate to the uh, representatives in order to divert them from the basic issues they are creating these confusion troubles within the uh, four corners of the assembly. I don't understand. Is this the way that uh, they have been carrying at the center and they are, I think, influenced by that mind setup? They are creating these uh, things uh, within the four corners of the assembly. They ought to have sat down, discussed about the uh, progressive uh, things which could be done for the people of Jammu and Kashmir. From the last 10 years, they have done nothing and they know 
the veil which they have or the covered things which they have kept over there that will be discussed within the four corners of the con four corners of the assembly that's why they are creating these uh, impediments uh, in the Dr. peaceful Abhijit process Jasokia, which is going respond. on within the assembly please respond to the you allegations see? that you are not allowing the people's mandate to function first of all let me clear one thing what was the people's mandate they should know that it was a Bharati Janata Party, which was the single largest party over here. More than 1.5 lakhs we have secured ahead of a national conference has scored over there. Unfortunate part was the apathy of past 30, 50, 60 years was there, that 1951-52 assembly. When we were 1.5 lakh more than what Kashmir was there, still due to the Let's apathy Talk about of last 10 years, what Shikhan you have done in the last 10 there. years. If you are, that if we were you giving are that LG, LG, that LG sir was already giving. You need to speak about the last ten years. LG, Don't talk LG, about those LG, years. When we were not in power, you were in power. 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 What have you done for the people of Jammu and Kashmir? What have you done? 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 Can I have Dr. Abhijit Jasrotia as well as Advocate Nilofar Masood to please calm your tempers down? We could have a dialogue because there's certainly no dialogue happening inside the assembly. We don't want to happen that outside as well. Meanwhile, as you both cool down, let me just get an Advocate Ahmad Ayaz at this point. Advocate Ahmad Ayaz, Prime Minister Modi, very clear. He said this not only in Jammu and Kashmir. In fact, he said this very clearly in Maharashtra and during Maharashtra elections that no power can get back an abrogated article. No, uh, this uh, part is well known to all. You know, uh, this is even, uh, despite uh, this issue being in the manifesto and promised to the people that will be uh, trying for restoration of Article 370, Umar Abdullah himself after elections has said that at least it is not possible uh, with this government. That has made clear. So uh, there's nothing new because everybody almost knows it. That it is democratic, it is not, uh, you know, parliament, through parliamentary process. At least this is not possible. If somebody says, uh, Narendra Modi ji says in my period, uh, but I see that even otherwise also, uh, through uh, parliamentary process, it may not be possible. Well, possibly it could be uh, done through uh, courts because there are not many judgments on this issue as uh, regards 370. Uh, it's not the only one judgment which has been passed. There were there were uh, judgments passed earlier also. Uh, in uh, the, the most important being the judgment of uh, you know Sampat Prakash versus State. So that being a very important judgment on 370. So as such, possibly uh, this can be uh, taken up sometime in the uh, courts, and the courts may think of it and review of it. Uh, but rest, we don't expect it to be to be done through the parliamentary process. Even if uh, there is no BJP government, there is any other government. So uh, if uh, Prime Minister says the same, I don't think uh, there is something new. This is known to the people also. Even to the people who have promised this to the people, like Umar Abdullah or the National Conference, they do know that it's not possible. So uh, there is nothing. But let us see that what is the process for the National Conference. They have promised the people. How are they going to do it? So it's, uh, it should be seen in the... Uh, next, how it's going to be. But as of today, everybody knows that it's not possible. That's true about it. So, so uh, we don't see. Also, we okay. don't see the way... Let me just uh, get in Dr. Abhijit uh, Jasrotia. Dr. Ab uh, yeah. uh, Dr. Jasrotia, you just heard Advocate Ahmed Ayaz. I mean, he's saying that it is going to be an uphill climb. He says it possibly may not even be a practical reality even via the parliament. That's something, of course, that will have to be taken up legally. And NC has already said that they will take legal recourse if this cannot be done. The point is, this is a resolution. If you want to oppose it, this is in fact what you have been at the center opposing the India Alliance for. You have slammed the India Alliance. You have, you have attacked the India Alliance for disorienting the parliament's functioning, for creating ruckus and stonewalling it. Now, if that is what you are going to be doing in the Jammu and Kashmir, it's, you know, it's almost the same. If you want to oppose the resolution, put your statements on record, let it go down in history in the, um, in the books and the records of the assembly. What are you getting with all of these scenes that the whole country is looking at? 
first of all, let me clarify one thing to you. As simple as that, it is there that you can see that uh, Abraham Lincoln Watson, you cannot fool all the people all the time. But this and National Conference and India Alliance is hell bent upon fooling people all the, all the time. Why? No, you, um, like uh, this uh, National uh, Conference spokesperson was saying that we are going to follow our manifesto. Let me tell you one thing the manifesto, which is duly signed the Congress government, the first thing in the manifesto, which they have put that they are going to bring back the autonomy, which was categorically refused by even late Indra Gandhi also. So do, do you think that we will allow such things to happen in our parliament, in our assembly over here? And do you think this assembly is at, at all powerful than to, uh, to uh, redo uh, uh, what was done on 5th August 2019? Then why are you wasting the precious time of the people? Who started it? We started with what we have done in past five, six years. We so started with if that. you are saying we they started, started with you will continue with, 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 with it. Started, but who Advocate Dilofar, Masood, please respond. You're wasting the time of people. You're fooling the people with rhetoric. I don't know who is fooling, in fact. By holding these mock assemblies, uh, they are fooling themselves. They are saying that you cannot fool all the people all the time. But what about the mock uh, assembly which they are holding? What do they want to show to the people of Jammu and Kashmir? This is very unfortunate. And I think they need to uh, rethink about these things, what they are doing and to whom they are making the fool. Uh, Abhijiji has said that uh, assembly is not that powerful. I think they uh, have given thought, they should have given thought to it. If it was not that powerful, they should not have taken part in the elections itself. Whatever power is lying with the UT, we are trying to uh, utilize in the best way. But the, unfortunately, it is the BJP who is not understanding the things that now it is the time to work for the people because they have already wasted 10 precious years of the Jammu and Kashmir wherein we find ourselves degraded as UT, our statehood has been taken, our all rights, all privileges, all everything which was provided uh, within the four corners of the constitution that has been taken. We are trying politically to get Advocate those. Nilofer. We have put the ball in the in the court of the, Advocate the, Nilofer, court of the, the Prime Minister is saying that the constitution needs to be followed everywhere, including in Jammu and Kashmir. And if you are saying that they wasted the time of people of Jammu and Kashmir, what's happening in the assembly right now, isn't that worse? The, isn't it? that the you same? Need to, yeah, you, need Wasting. To, you need to look deep inside who is doing these things. It is only the BJP and those proxies who have fought election on the sport because they were supported by the BJP. Many people, last time we have seen when there was Lok Sabha election, BJP did not field their candidates. These were the proxy candidates who were fielded and who contested election on their behalf. They are creating uh, disturbance um, in the cons these assemblies. So they are the people who are creating disturbance. They don't want whatever the uh, things should be done in a very short span of time. They are not uh, serious about that. They are not allowing the local issues which we are facing from last 10 years to be seen uh, who are the people who are responsible for it. Because they know that they have done nothing and they don't want that but we should do. Advocate Dilofar, but we are, if BJP uh, is making some chance, Kashmir, chance that you all don't agree in the assembly, you all carry on with your official proceedings. What is this counter chance and escalating the tensions and then, you know, some people have to be marshaled out. If the BJP, is, you're saying, is creating ruckus, if they have wrote, raised slogans that you all are not favouring, that you technically, ideologically oppose, then you carry on with the matter, carry on with your discussions, let them do the ruckus that they're doing. You have instead started counter sloganeering. The entire house goes into president? tension. How is how, democratically how is this going to work, Doctor Advocate Nilofa? Now, why should we allow them to carry the indiscipline in the assembly? Assembly is not meant for that. Everybody is watching assembly. Everybody is seeing what matters, what issues are being taken up, and how they will be read, uh, addressed by the uh, chief minister. This is to be seen, and they Dr. are Abhijit doing Jasrotia, this. Dr. Jasrotia, 30 seconds, know, please respond, reason. and then I would like Maybe to go please. to Advocate Ahmed Ayaz. Dr. Jasrotia, very quickly, please respond, 30 seconds. Please, first of all, yeah. Yeah, first of all, I would like, she was talking that this assembly is not uh, powerful and why they fought election. First of all, this assembly is not above the parliament of this country. Secondly, you are the one who said that we are not going to contest in a UT, but you contested. Now, it is up to you to decide what you have to do and what you have to do. And let me tell you th one thing, nothing is going to stand against the constitution of my country. My constitution, the constitution of this country is the best uh, constitution and we stand by it. And if anybody tries to, again, bring back that constitution, which was 
uh, really burnt by myself on 5th August 2019 and you can just uh, Google my uh, history also. And if it were somebody will try to raise another flag in front of the tricolor, then we are going to sacrifice our life and never going to let that happen. Let it be very clear. And just you giggle. Google this thing that I have burnt both that flag, that uh, um, flag of the Aswell state and the constitution of that uh, Aswell state also. And the things which are burnt, once burnt can never be brought back. Let it be very clear to you. Advocate Dillow, for very quickly, please respond. The of the people who want 370 to come back, you are insulting their mandate. You should respect the mandate. And uh, after so seeing our manifesto, they have given us. So the mandate is with Bharti Janta Party, committed not to the people. You. That is why we have br brought this resolution. And we believe we have put the ball in the government of India's court. They need to see, uh, they need to respect the mandate of the Jammu and Kashmir. And I'm hopeful that they will reconsider what has been done on 5th August 2019. I am very hopeful. Okay, Advocate Ahmed Ayaz, let me just come in. Advocate uh, uh, Ahmed Ayaz, clearly things are not going to be smooth in the Jammu and Kashmir Assembly. And quite frankly, in a democratic setup, that should be allowed. Discourse, dissent, um, opposing views, debate, all of that is hugely necessary because these are all elected representatives of people. But what, what's the way forward? It's been five days, not one constructive um, uh, dialogue that has happened inside this assembly. Of course, uh, this is uh, very important, more than anything, uh, to have the business conducted uh, in a peaceful and democratic uh, um, and uh, you know, reasonable manner, which is unfortunately not happening. People, you know, having voted and elected these people with an sole expectation to see that their issues uh, which these representatives who are elected now to have uh, been telling to the people that for last so many years there was no uh, representative body as such there was no access to the administration that being it true and as such there are issues which have been accumulated uh, concerning the people but unfortunately uh, what we see happening is this is quite you know as if the people who are elected to the uh, assembly I uh, have not have least realization of the situation in which people have been going for last so many years. Well, uh, National Conference has a uh, manifesto. They have a promise right. to people, right or wrong. They have made a promise, and those that promise to right. see that that they pass the resolution in the first session, which they have done. Well, uh, people may not agree with it. They may uh, like to see it changed, or it does not. They don't agree. With it. There is a democratic uh, way of doing it. Let it be debated, let it be discussed, let people know to agree. But what is the point in, you know, uh, getting into the scuffle and, Unfortunately, you know, sir, the, the reality is very different as of now, and we don't even know how and... this is going to be resolved in days to come. It's a complete washout of dialogue. If that is the safest thing to say at this point, it's brawl, it's ugly scenes, it's physical altercations for that matter, literally. Dr. Abhijit Jasrotia, Advocate Nilofar Masood, as well as Advocate Ahmed Ayaz, thank you very much for joining us. But this is definitely not something that people of Jammu and Kashmir would have wanted a historic assembly session to look like. Thank you very much for your time.